was the baboon doing here, anyway? It was here because apparently him and his drunken cohorts left such a mess outside. Honestly, you might as well have sent invites out. Oh, Caroline, would you mind, please? It's quite deep, you know. Mm. It'll be fine. It'll be sore. And we'll need to give you plenty of antibiotics. Yes, Mum. Danny, it's the vet council. They want to see you for a second interview. Tomorrow at ten. Well, what shall I tell them? Oh. Tell them yes. Yeah, he'll yeah. be there. <laughs> Yes. Hey? Yes, you can make Fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bloody moles. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So what's all that stuff for? Actually, I'm a geologist. A geologist? <laughs> oh, no, please. Don't get up. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine now. Thanks. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of, of animals, actually. That's why I like rocks. You know, they don't uh, run fast or bite. Rocks? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm doing a survey of the province for the government. Oh. For the government? Why? I, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I thought geologists like the outdoors. <laughs> not me. I'm not much happier underground, to be honest, or looking through a microscope. I like the details. Uh. <laughs> Can you stop yo-yoing up and down like that? You're giving me a headache. Apologize. Um, are you okay? Yeah. These things happen. Unfortunately. Uh, Danny may be working for the government soon. Huh? We're hoping he's going to become the new state vet. Oh, that, that's fantastic. Amazing. Surprised he got an interview in the first place. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Dup. You got a problem with me going for this job? I don't see the point of having a government position. It's just a fancy title that'll take you away from Leopard's Den. Not really. And it'll be good for us, raise Leopard's Den's profile. Still a long way to go yet, though. <clears throat> Land and environment, same department as me. Oh, we're practically colleagues. <laughs> Excuse me while I go and get a gun. What? For the baboon. They're vermin. He's got to be got rid of. And now he's got a taste for human flesh. Talk to the kill us, dude. But what if he comes back and tries to get food from somebody else? A, a guest. Charlotte. Uh, Anders. They're parasites. We kill them, don't we? Not if we can help it. Let's just try and catch it first, shall we? I'll go and set a trap. No, me and Tarbo will do it. Tarbo? Yeah. Should have seen him with the lions earlier on. He was excellent. No, you stay and do the honours with Jonas. Take him wherever he wants to go. Assuming you're not still over the limit. Um, I'll just go get changed and then I'm ready when you are, Mr. Dupe. Mr. Doop. There you go, my boy. That should pacify the gods. Dogs more like. You haven't forgotten we have people coming over tomorrow. To celebrate the birth of our baby. We have food to prepare, godparents to decide on, and it would be good if you could afford a little time to think of a name for our child. Okay, baby, all in good time, okay? First, we have to protect him from the evil spirits, sweetheart, okay? Anders! What? Do you think this sofa's been slept on? What? Do you think this sofa has been slept on? But is Olivia angry with Tarbo? On the contrary. No, oh, then he didn't sleep on the couch. Believe me, no man sleeps on the couch unless he's in the doghouse. It's a genetic thing. You're not helping, Anders. Not helping with what? Nothing. No. <laughs> is he really hungry? Ah, oh, <laughs> good. I, I, want to, I want to talk to you about sleeping arrangements. No, you too, Tabo. What's there to discuss? Tabo slept on the sofa. Uh, sofa, yes. I heard you the first time. I, I don't think he did, you see. The thing is, I wasn't born yesterday. Look, it's the 21st century and we're all grown-ups here. But this is Danny's house, and you have to respect that. Especially at this moment. Of course. So just... Oh, don't do it again. Yes? Yes, Mrs. Duplessis. Yes, Gran. Good. Right.
So, I hear you're going to try and trap a baboon today. Am I? Let me give you a word of advice. <laughs> Don't try and run before you can walk. Baboons aren't the only animals that bite, you know. Wow. They're coming at us from all sides. I think you better lay low a bit, don't you? That's exactly what I was thinking. Till tonight, anyway. What? I'm serious. So am I. Oi, Tarbo, quit the chin wagon, will you? We've got a baboon to catch. <laughs> so what's this survey really about? Oh, that's just a review of the National Park's boundaries. We need to bring records up to date. Try to get clever with me. What's the real reason? Elephant! Elephant! Up ahead! So what do you know? I don't know anything. Sure. I swear it's just routine governmental procedure. Huh? Why here? Yeah, why now? Because the area hasn't been mapped in decades and needs updating to be brought in line with other provinces. <laughs> you notice the baboon? No. Where? Over there in the dead tree. Watching us. Cats have got nothing on baboons when it comes to curiosity. I'm doing this partly to get his attention. It looks harmless enough to me. Don't be fooled. Alice was lucky. Why don't we just dart him? Oh, baboons know a gun when they see one. He'd be out of sight before we got anywhere near him. What happens when we catch him? Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, they are a pest. And when they take a liking to somewhere, they're hard to get rid of. They're destructive, notoriously aggressive. Most reserves shoot them, feed them to the lions. But you don't, right? I'd rather relocate them. The trouble is, finding somewhere far enough away so they don't come back. What makes you think you walk straight into here? Salt. A baboon's favourite thing in the world. You plant that some way off, retire to a safe distance, leave him to it. Can't resist it. The salt does the rest. He comes running in for water, you release the door, nothing to it. And you think I can do that, right? I've got an interview to prepare for. You've been doing so well, I thought you might like to fly solo on this one. You up for that? Sure. Good. Be careful. How long is this going to take? It won't take long, I shouldn't think. If this is such a simple survey, why aren't you using satellite technology or aerial photography? Well, I'm as sophisticated as those things are. To get a precise topographical review, one is to understand the history of the land. And this area, for example, would have originally been a seabed. What are you telling me I'm sitting at the bottom of the ocean? Exactly. Since prehistoric times, tectonic plates have shifted, and the seabed has it's become a mountain range. Don't be ridiculous, man. Might be old, but I'm not stupid. No, I am serious. Are you going trawling for shellfish? And I need to know what's underground. I bloody bet you do. that I would bring to the job includes vision, uh, leadership, passion, uh, uh, passion. How am I doing? OK. You need to stop waving your arms around. You look like you're trying to land a plane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
I knew your man was a fake. Where's Jonas? That government lackey isn't here reviewing park boundaries. He's a prospector. You know, looking for gold, diamonds, oil, that sort of thing. So, what have you done with him? Not that he'll find anything. Did he tell you that that's what they're doing? He didn't have to. Where is he now? In the bush. You left the government employee with a phobia of animals stranded in the bush. Yeah. Do. He's fine. He won't hurt you. <laughs> oh. Honestly, he won't hurt you at all. Oh. It's not the best choice of escape routes from a giraffe. No, oh, I don't know what else to do. He's absolutely harmless unless he decides to lick you to death. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm sorry if I gave Mr. Dub the wrong impression. Believe me, you have no reason to oh. apologise. Right, you can start to get down now. What were you thinking? Leaving that nice, polite gentleman on his own in the bush? That with a bit of luck, the vultures would get him. You could do worse than learn some manners from him, Anders. I don't know what's got into you lately. I really don't. Ah. Dub! What? Dub! Elizabeth, my ancestor. I'm sorry? Well, you know, the moke and the meat and the snakes, they're all consumed by a lizard. What do I do now, Dub? A lizard? Oh, that is not good for Tony. You need help. Have you tried praying? Oh, do be quiet, Anders. Go away and leave this to me. Hmm. Carla, this is serious. Yes, I can see that, Cedric. But it's not really about lizards and snakes, is it? Isn't it? What you have to do is ask yourself, what is it you're really worried about? Come on. <laughs> Good. Now we can shoot the bloody thing. Well, the good news is that Tab was caught the baboon. The bad news is that Dope's decided to deal with it himself. He's taken it out to the bush to shoot it. Couldn't you stop him? I didn't know he was going. <sighs> now look at me with those big baboon eyes. Best man, nobody wants you. You and me both. Sir. Come on, get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> 